everyone, welcome back to our fourth installment of the OTICS uh, introductory video lecture series. My name is Joel. I am a PM in the Cloud Cybersecurity Org, and with me I have Tvisha. Hey everyone, my name is Tvisha. Um, I'm a product manager in Cloud Cybersecurity, and we're super excited to talk to you about the MITRE framework today. Yeah, so I guess we can go right into it um, with kind of describing what exactly is the MITRE attack framework? Of course. So the MITRE attack framework is an in-depth knowledge-based framework that offers security experts an analytical model with ingrained method methodologies that can be used to identify and analyze adversary activities within their systems. So I know that was a lot of words. Essentially what it does is it allows people around the world to map vulnerabilities, detections, and other threat intel to the same set of tactics and techniques. So if you look at the framework at the very top, what you see are the tactics. So we have resource development, initial access, execution, persistence, but how did they get initial access into the system? That's defined by the technique. So it could be a drive-by compromise, um, exploit public facing application, et cetera, et cetera, phishing, whatever they use for it to get into the system to get that first initial access that's the technique and initial access is the tactic oh yeah definitely makes a lot of sense um could you maybe go a little bit into what mapping how it works what it is and kind of the benefit of it of course so the mapping has several benefits it improves post compromise detection of adversaries what that means is that if you already know that there is an adversary in your network and say you know that they, they got in through exploiting a, a public place a facing application you're able to predict what the next steps in the kill chain might be and not just that but you can also look back and trace the steps that the adversary took as they moved through the systems so that makes it a lot easier to figure out where they are so that you can stop them and prevent them from moving any further Lastly, mapping to the framework also allows sharing across various organizations. It provides a common structure so that when I talk about a certain compromise under initial access, everyone else around the world that's familiar with the MITRE framework knows exactly what I'm talking about. So it allows for sharing again of threat intel across various organizations and around the world. Yeah, definitely. And you mentioned a little bit where um, if you talk about it with somebody across the world, they know what you're talking about with this framework. Um, is MITRE the standard? Like kind of why, why was this chosen? Yeah, so there are plenty of other frameworks out there that also map to different techniques and tactics. However, the MITRE is the most popular framework out there. It's used pretty much by the entire world um, even the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency has used and recommended the MITRE framework. They even wrote a detailed guide on how to use the framework. So it's pretty much the most popular one. It's used everywhere. It's even recommended by the government. So that's why we use MITRE. Yeah, definitely. And I think something else we want to kind of dive into is uh, applications and what we've been talking about this entire time, whereas like OTICS, how does it fit into to that um, domain? Right, so previously there was only the MITRE Enterprise Framework and that's what was used for everything, including ICS environments. However, in early 2021, MITRE released a new framework called the ICS Matrix. The ICS Matrix, it's pretty similar to the Enterprise Matrix, but the techniques and tactics are tailored towards the ICS environment. So for the ICS environment, we would pr primarily use the ICS matrix. MITRE framework is used across um, a bunch of different ICS organizations, correct? Yeah, the MITRE framework is used across pretty much all organizations out there. So if you look at this slide, we have healthcare, agriculture, technology, defense, government, pretty much everything. So as I mentioned, it is the most popular one. It's super common, it's used everywhere. So it's definitely the one we recommend using. Great, no, that was a really great kind of introduction to the MITRE framework. Um, I think it was, you know, succinct, but makes a lot of, made a lot of sense. So I really appreciate you uh, taking the time again. Of course, thank you so much.
Awesome. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you all in the final uh, video coming up next. So thank you.